Hey everybody, Tom Barnish, Chicago Scene, and you've seen us all over Instagram. Sugar Junkie, Gelatos, they have ice cream sandwiches, the whole thing happening here in Lincoln Park. I'm gonna talk to Chef Amy, who didn't even start off as a pastry chef. Nope, nope, she made maps for a living. She didn't like it, so she decided, you know what, why don't we cash in on this dream of making these elaborate cakes, turn this into a career, and that's what she did. She's a pastry chef. For the four corners group and she also has her own spot here outside of bernali's here in lincoln park as you can see there it is that's a spot where you walk up to the window order your gelato and be on your way let's go and say hi all right do you believe that sugar junkie is already in its third year here in lincoln park and i'm here with chef amy who is the the this is your brainchild this is your thing that you've been wanting to open for a while you've been a chef in the city for almost like 15 years overall as a chef and this is your first venture out on your own congratulations that's great thanks <laughs> we appreciate you coming to check it out yeah absolutely so for, uh, for people who have never been here before this is a completely walk-up type of situation here where people walk up to the wind the window outside of Renali's right right we have the window that slides open and the case faces outside it was all built on a walk-up no entry low contact because we started during the pandemic. You have wanted to venture out on your own. You are a pastry chef for the Four Corners group, but you wanted to walk out on your own. You talked to the owner who loved gelato, and this is kind of what happened as a result of it, correct? Correct. I sort of went to him as like a mentorship asking, how do I start my own business? Where do I start? How do I create a concept, a brand? Mm -hmm. And he loves gelato, and I've worked for the company for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And so he got behind it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is this is the result, right? So from the looks of things that when you see it online or on social media, especially your Instagram handle, the colors are outrageously awesome, and the flavors are to boot. So, like, what gives you inspiration? Like, walk through me the uh, the kind of flavors that you offer up here. I think people like what they know. Mm -hmm. They like what they're familiar with. So you can't go too far out of the box. But if you take something that is done like the banana the banana fudge the owner's favorite flavor was banana that was how that started uh -huh. and I added the fudge for obvious reasons mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and freeze-dried bana bananas mm -hmm. usually banana ice cream is just it's smooth there's right. no texture to it and so he thought that was really exciting and it's been a really good seller uh, the, the colors I just since I came to the city, I started like the unicorn donuts at mm -hmm. Fremont and the cake shakes. Yeah. I brought the cake shakes to Chicago when I was at, at Dynamic and people like color, people like fun, food that's fun. People eat with their eyes first and rainbows, rainbows and unicorns was like my tag on everything for uh -huh. a long <laughs> time. So the rainbow gelato was a no brainer. Mm -hmm. Uh, the birthday cake gelato, I think I have a really, a really good buttercream, which is what it basically tastes like. Mm -hmm. So we put that in there and that's been a huge seller. There's and nothing really ordinary. Nothing really ordinary. I think that's what makes it so unique. And uh, people come here in droves in the summertime for sure, as, as that's when you're open and spring as well. But you, three of the things that you showed me today, what were those? Because those are some of the three more popular items that you talked about. I think you mentioned the rainbow cone or the rainbow uh, gelato there. What were the other ones? Uh, the rainbow cookie sandwich was a huge seller last year. It was the one that popped all over Instagram or, you know, obviously. What's in that one? Uh, it's it's a rainbow colored sugar cookie. You uh -huh. can add any gelato to it that you want. Um, today we used the Nilla Vanilla, which is a vanilla ice cream with a vanilla swirl and vanilla cookies. And you can't go wrong with that, really. So you have that, and what are the other two again? Uh, the other two, we did an ice cream cone with the rainbow mm -hmm. gelato, and we did a cup of birthday cake gelato. All these things, those are like up of the menu that you have. Those are the more popular ones that people come in for. What's your favorite one? Do you have them? My favorite is the Oreo. The Oreo. Cream. Can't go wrong with that, huh? No, and it's special. Why is it, it special? A special ingredient. <laughs> we can't tell you. Oh, okay. I thought you meant it was special to you. It's extraordinary cookies and cream ice cream. 
All right, and so you guys are going to be open Thursday through Sunday here in May, and then in June, uh, every day you said? Every day. Every day. And then uh, what are the hours that like, you guys open up during the afternoon or in the morning? What do you think the hours would be? Right now we're, we mimic the restaurant's hours, so we're open in the evenings on Thursday and Friday, and we're open 11 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. I can't let you get out of here without giving you props because it's not only do you do make the gelato here, but you also make all the ingredients that you use for all the sandwiches and everything else, like those cookies up there up top, right? We do. And we make most of the ingredients that goes into the gelato, like the cake and the cookies and the chocolate sheets. and. Yeah, you've been, and that goes back to your background as a pastry chef, but you didn't start off as a pastry chef years ago. You made maps. Uh, for properties and whatnot, and you explained to me earlier that uh, it just made you bored and you wanted to fall asleep and you kind of fell into this because you were creative at home with your kids and making their cakes and you kind of, you know, you went into culinary school, didn't even do pastries, you did something else and you fell into the love of gelato and here you are with your own place, you got this guy from WGN talking to you, that's kind of fun, huh? Yes, that's fun. fun terrified though you don't like doing interviews so i appreciate you taking the time to talk with me i really do and for people who want to come by here and see you they can come to the website sugarjunkieshy.com or you have an instagram page where people are finding you all over the place what's that handle it's sugar junkie shy as well oh, awesome well thank you chef amy i appreciate the time and uh we won't let those gelatos go to waste i promise you that <laughs> thank you so much for coming yeah you're welcome we'll see you all right, that's Sugar Junkie here in Lincoln Park. T B A R N A S at WGNTV.com. If you have a suggestion for the Chicago scene, that's T Barnes at WGNTV.com. We'll see you guys later. Thanks.